if he's yeah. Is it Daniel? Yeah. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Daniel? Uh, not bad at all. Um, I thought I would call in about something. I'm not entirely sure how related it is to today's topic, but um, it's about a guy named uh, Sanal Edamaruku. He's yeah. an Indian rationalist, and uh, he's the head of, I think it's called Rationalist International. And uh, I thought it was really entertaining because recently, just in March of this year, um, <laughs> he went on TV with a black magic tantric and basically challenged the guy to kill him with magic. Yeah. Said, oh, yes, I saw know, that. There was yeah, a YouTube I, I, video of that, right? Yeah, yeah, there was a, there was a video of it that I saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I, thought it was, uh, I thought it was important. I mean, it's a, I think it's a huge step for, for I think, uh, Indian rationalism, seeing as it is such a highly religious culture. Yeah, let me make sure the audience understands. Uh, it, it was a guy that basically stood up to, uh, to uh, kind of this, this uh, kind of religious nut. I guess it was tantric uh, something. Anyway. Yeah, it, well, he was he was considered one of the most powerful black magic tantrics in India. Right, and uh, was a well known name. Yeah, and he and he went and this the skeptic went up there and said, you know, show me your stuff, kill me, you know. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> and so he he demonstrated a lot of courage, I think, in the sense that. Uh, you know, although there's no there's no harm in black magic, these the supporters are, are scary, right? These supporters are can, can do some harm <laughs> so, because right, they live right. in the real world, unlike the the black magic. But, but so yeah, I, right. kudos to him for doing that. There, yeah, and he made a complete fool out of this religious guy. So. There, there's actually yeah. A, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, he absolutely did. That was the point, I guess. <laughs> yeah, and there's a there's actually a, a really strong contingent of, of rationalists in India and a really good tradition of atheists. And atheism really? within within India, um, it I, I I can't really expound on it, but I'm sure if you do some searching around the internet, you'll you'll find more information about it. There are some some famous atheists and uh, Nehru uh, was was an atheist. Yes, who 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 have come there. But my thing is that this actually I loved it when he did this. I loved the challenge of okay, you say you've got black magic, they can kill me. Let's go on TV. I'll stand there. And of course, the guy came up with excuses and finally agreed to it. And then it didn't work. And then I think they had to do it a second time. <laughs> If I'm remembering right, because he came up with more excuses about why it didn't work when he was put under pressure. Um, yeah, I thought we, we see this. We see this type of thing all the time. James Randi deals with it when people uh, claim to have supernatural powers. There's a guy who used to have a, a, a podcast or a video podcast back before anybody knew what the hell video podcasts were, um, where it was I think it was like Smite TV or something, where he would just he would just go on and say, okay, here's my weekly podcast. Uh, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, if there's any god, and he'd pick out a god off of a list and say, "Okay, I'm now going to sit here and blaspheme this particular god." And if you'd <laughs> like to smite me, please do so. And it just went on uh, through through a cavalcade of gods uh, to show that you know that there's nothing to it. Yeah, I thought I thought the most entertaining portion of this was uh, where the guy was unable to do what he said he was going to do, and his first excuse, and I, I thought it was the most entertaining excuse was that he was being protected by bots. And the first thing the guy says, he by just what? Out, he says, I'm an atheist. And the guy's just dumb, uh, dumbstruck. He doesn't know what to say, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know Maybe that's why they're so afraid of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, thought it was, I thought it was just infinitely entertaining. Yes, your hokum doesn't work on me because I don't believe in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 that hits it on the head. Well, yeah. thanks a lot for calling, Dan. I'm trying to get to some other calls real quick. Absolutely, you guys have a good day. Thanks, you too. Bye.